So let's talk about what's been going on, because last night, Vice President Kamala Harris drew a crowd of about 75,000 people to the D.C. eclipse to offer a message of unity and urge voters to turn the page on a shameful chapter of American history. Take a look. We know who Donald Trump is. He is the person who stood at this very spot nearly four years ago and sent an armed mob to the United States Capitol to overturn the will of the people in a free and fair election. This is someone who is unstable, obsessed with revenge, consumed with grievance, and out for unchecked power. We have to stop pointing fingers and start locking arms. It is time to turn the page on the drama and the conflict. I will work with everyone, Democrats, Republicans, and independents. I don't believe people who disagree with me are the enemy. He wants to put them in jail. I'll give them a seat at the table. It's kind of what you wanted to hear. Yes. <laughs> it's just, you know, okay, you're willing to work with both sides, okay. Yeah. Anything to stop this insanity. I mean, I feel like... Have you ever seen Valley of the Dogs? Yes, of course. So in the beginning... Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> in the very beginning of Valley of the Dogs, you know, it's not the beginning. The girl, she's brokenhearted and she's faux drinking in the forest and she's walking like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. I feel like I am just walking down the street punch drunk. Yeah. I don't know if y'all, if this yeah. is starting to get to you as well, but that's how, what's happening with me. Do you think her message of, listen, I'm here to try to do for everybody. You yeah. think yeah. that will resonate? Can I, can I give a, also do, doing down uh, history? Yeah, yeah. There's another historical moment I'd like to bring up. Sure. Because he talks about the enemy of within. He's talking about Americans. He's talking about us. Yeah. Uh, in 1970, when I was, uh, when dinosaurs roamed the earth and I was... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was, seems like such a long time yeah, ago. I was there with you. Yes, I know. I, know. I was there just oh, a little, a little long. Yeah. And um, I'm referring to the Kent State killings. In oh, 1970, yeah, yeah. the National Guard was brought out by Richard Nixon to kill kids yeah. from Kent State University Protest. because they were, they were protesting. They were protesting. They shot our children. The National Guard, Americans shot American children. That, when he says the enemy from within, that is what it evokes in yeah. my mind. Yeah. Th yeah. That they will be shooting kids who are protesting on campuses. I was, uh, I protested against the Vietnam War. I went to Washington. Mm -hmm. yeah. He would have shot me. Yeah, I protested against South mm -hmm. um, African apartheid. Remember that. Remember Kent yeah. State when you right. hear that word enemy within. Well, well and you, these remarks hit me last night, I gotta say. Um, I found myself getting a little bit emotional watching him because the last time we saw a major national figure speak from the ellipse outside of the White House, mm -hmm. it was Donald Trump on yeah. January 6th. And I will never forget, I was at my in-laws in Florida, I had already resigned, when he said, you know, if Mike Pence has the courage to do this, and I just had this pit in my stomach thinking, you just put him in so much danger. Mm -hmm. There is a mob there of people who are ready to go march up because you told him to. So this imagery of standing and reclaiming that space, also showing a woman in front of the White House looking presidential, I think was incredibly powerful. The message is what resonated with me. Donald Trump has not asked for my vote. He's actually said he's declined every opportunity to ask for Nikki Haley voters' uh -huh. support, but mm -hmm. she's saying she wants to be a president for all Americans. Juxtapose that to the trash talk we heard this weekend and that the fact that as we speak, he's already trying to undermine this election. Already. It hasn't yeah. even happened, and yeah. he's saying there's fraud in Pennsylvania. He's just spewing lies. He is teeing up another January 6th. We could be just months away from seeing something like that unfold again because this man is it's incapable yeah. of losing and doing the right thing for the country. Well, and, she, and I hope folks remember that. She also said, you know, someone who feels differently from me is not my enemy. That should land for everyone because I don't know anyone who isn't love someone or care for someone that 
believes otherwise. And so the, the number one message that hits me with her campaign is that she's gonna make room at the table for everyone. I'm an independent, so I have beliefs that actually are conservative on certain issues, and I have beliefs that are very liberal on others. Mm -hmm. I only make sense if everyone's sitting with me and mm -hmm. talking to me. So for independence, for a lot of Haley voters, mm -hmm. honestly, this campaign speaks to more who I am. I don't want to see divisiveness. I don't want someone to feed off my already existing overwhelmed anxiety. I don't want that. Mm -hmm. I need someone to give me hope, inspiration, and draw me in, not push me away. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what happened. You know, I, I think that's what happened. What we saw was that joyful warrior. We yeah. saw someone that was presidential. Most importantly, we saw someone that was ready, that was competent, that was that outlined her to-do list, that outlined what she would do for the country. And what uh, one of my major takeaways was: look at the audience that was out there. Seventy-five thousand people were, were, you know, were supporting her, that must and drive it looked him nuts. like the United States of America that I know: black, white, Latino, LGBTQ. Old, Americans, young, everyone Americans. was there. It looked like the country that I know. It right. didn't look like a white nationalist rally, okay? It looked very different than that. Yeah. Um, also, I thought it was wonderful when she said, listen, I'm not perfect. I'm, I will make mistakes. I make mistakes. Mm -hmm. It takes strength and courage to admit that you can make mistakes, to admit that you've made mistakes. Donald Trump has never admitted fault for anything. He has still not admitted that his team vetted that comic that called the island of Puerto Rico, where my family is from, trash, okay? A floating garbage. island of trash, garbage. garbage. He called this country garbage. I think, Whoopi, everybody feels like you feel. We're punch drunk. Yeah. Everybody feels like you feel, Sarah. We're tired of the divisiveness. Can't wait till it's everyone over feels like already. you feel. Over. Everyone, everyone wants this to be over. But we want the but you have to, America you back. have to, you know, this requires diligence on our part. Right. Because, you know, we are Americans. We like stuff to move like this. You go overseas, you know, things don't move as fast. And then we get very, come on, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> well, this is one time that we as Americans have got to be meticulous <clears throat> and very clear. Regardless of which direction you're going in, be meticulous and clear. Make sure your ballots are filled out properly. Yeah. If you're in college, make sure you got your absentee, absentee, absentee ballot. Mm -hmm. Make sure you go through it. If you have older people in your sphere, take them. Because yeah. one of the things that, that people were cautioning against is how people are targeting the older folks. Because they want to be able to say, well, no, you, you can't vote here because you didn't do this, oh, you didn't sign this and yeah. this and this. This is very much 1955. It's going backwards. Yeah. So just be aware that if you have older folks, go with them. Mm -hmm. Go with them and make sure you're Take engaging in, in what needs to be done. Because we got to be very, very careful because this could yeah. go on for a couple of months. That, but oh. think about it. That's what's it, just disconcerting, right? Don't, don't you think no. that the fact that we already know, as Alyssa said, that he will he will likely claim victory win that night, lose. win well, or lose, he's, he's, and he's setting he us does. up for another January 6th? But if it's, he's a, if it's a landslide, he, he's going to have trouble. No, but remember, he's, he's not going re to care if it's a landslide. That's I don't know that he'll remember, care. Remember, questioning, well, we re questioning election results is as old as elections themselves. It's what the courts did, and the courts showed up last time. Not yeah. one 60, court 60 showed. Yeah. yeah. So That's the point true. is, you've got to trust the system to flex when it yes. needs to. And yeah. by the way, right. voters hate the election whole. lies. In the 2022 midterms, when even myself, I ate crow, predicted a red wave because the polls told us that, voters turned out across the board to vote against people who lied about the election or who tried to overturn Maybe the last one. Maybe they'll do it again. I still think that resonates. People will say it's only the economy, it's only the border. No. I actually think people care about the character of the leader, and I think they're over the lies. They yeah. think it's nonsense. Yeah. 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 Never have I ever <laughs> thought... Oh, I want to hear this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just never thought that I would ever see this kind of election come up. I know. Yeah. Where it's just... Where you're battling everything that was great and good about the country. Yeah. And having to prove to people who are too young to remember. Yeah. yeah. When this was how we stood yeah. all the time. We weren't always right, but we stood like we knew what we were doing. <laughs> With our arms around that each other. That was it.